So, uh, what are we gonna do tonight, OCG? Why, same thing we tried to do every night, but take over the world. I mean, uh, Twitch, uh, take over Twitch. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Obsessive Compulsive Gaming. I am the Obsessive Compulsive Gamer, joined once again by my faithful manservant slash Buck Totem Bertram. And this is my review for Immortals Phoenix Rising. Now, Immortals Phoenix Rising was released December 4th for all of your beloved gaming machines. Well, not all of them. I heard there was talk of a Nintendo Wii U port, but sadly, everyone is now using their Nintendo Wii U's as doorstops. So, what is Immortals Phoenix Rising? Well, I'm glad you asked, dear viewer. Immortals Phoenix Rising is an open-world action-slash-platformer game published by Satan's favorite company, Ubisoft. People hate Ubisoft. I'm sorry, did I say hate? I meant despise. Though I suppose they're not all that bad. I hear that employees are not granted one toilet break every 23 hours and 53 minutes. Where does the other seven minutes go? Well, that's the toilet break, obviously. So, in this game we play as Phoenix, wannabe hero, who embarks on a quest to rescue his brother and other Olympic gods from the evil Typhon. This whole story is narrated by Prometheus. No, not Frankenstein. He was the modern Prometheus. In this game it is simply Prometheus, Prometheus. This is a story that has been told before. Good versus evil. But not often with as much charm or humor as I found here. In fact, I would say that if Disney made Clash of the Titans or Jason and the Argonauts, then this is what it would look like as a video game. And I'm talking about classic Disney here, not that corporate shambles that took Star Wars and assaulted it from behind with a sword instead of a penis and not a small sword either a giant throbbing sword with I think you get the point to sum up the gameplay I only have to say to you Breath of the Wild Genshin Impact Darksiders Little bit of uh, Starlink, which was also published by Ubisoft. Something I must say I noticed was how much this game reminded me of the Kid Icarus games. Though I am glad we are not a kid in this game. I hate children. I'm sorry, did I say hate? I meant despise. This game was made by the same team that brought us Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I very much see this game and Assassin's Creed Odyssey as yin and yang. Or, if you like, a piece of shit and a piece of candy. I'll leave you to guess which is which. And yes, before you ask, I have eaten both. So. To prematurely ejaculate, I mean, uh, to prematurely give you some of my thoughts on the game, I really, really enjoyed this game. From the gameplay, to the art style, to the voice acting, and especially the humour. Phoenix calling Ares an asshole is probably one of the best things I have ever heard. And I have heard Mozart live. Well, an actor playing Mozart, but 
that's besides the point. All in all, I spent around 25 hours with the game, and I still have plenty to do. But I was just so engrossed with the story that I rushed to finish it. The last few hours in particular were excellent. The game builds to an emotional confrontation with someone you care about. Like a good Pixar or Disney film, the game alternates between comedy and drama perfectly. Oh, speaking of comedy, have I told you how I once met Minnie Mouse and got her pregnant? No. Well, she chose not to keep the child. That would have been something quite hideous. Not to mention that I hear her husband, Mickey, has quite the temper. So I kept away from Minnie from that day forth. I, uh, still have a picture of her here on my mantelpiece that I occasionally... You know... <laughs> you know, uh... Draw devil horns and a mustache on? <laughs> Why? What did you think I was going to say? There you are, viewer. Comedy. So that's quite enough of my uh, crazy babbling for one day. I am going to give this game a... Nine. Point two. Point two. Point four. Out of ten. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. My review for Immortals Phoenix Rising. If you've enjoyed this little review of mine, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, well then, feel free to give me the middle finger. Please, feel free to leave some abuse for me in my comment section. And as always, until we meet again, remember to stay obsessed with gaming. Why, yes. That one. I didn't know you were familiar with it. Of course. Usually she'd ask my advice, but I was away at the time. What a loss.